So today, what we're going to be looking at is the new updates from Gemini 1.5. This was announced literally on the 14th of May, so it's brand new. We're going to be testing out for SEO, looking at some of the best processes, and also comparing it against ChatGPT 4.0, which is a new upgrade from OpenAI. So there's been loads of crazy stuff this week. ChatGPT seemed to try and overshadow Google in terms of having their event a day before. We're going to look at some of the latest upgrades on both. We've got Kazra Dash on the call. Yep. I've just upgraded back to Gemini Advanced just to see what it's like. So I'm going to pull this up. You've been pretty impressed with it so far, haven't you? Yeah, I've done a couple prompts. Um, we'll, we'll obviously take a look at it and stuff. Um, but it, it looks like it even improves big time. Um, obviously, it's the case with a lot of these big updates where they'll improve the entire LLM by 20% or something, and everyone's super impressed. So right now, I'm super impressed, but ask me in, in a month's time, and I'll probably say it's it's worse. Yeah, yeah. you've got to test it out, haven't you? But from what I saw when you were generating a topical map, we'll come on to that. But it looked pretty yeah. good. Genuinely, it looked good. So this is the upgrade from Gemini 1.5 Pro to Gemini Advanced. As you can see, I've actually upgraded just for YouTube, just for you guys, so you can check it out. And we're going to switch to Gemini Advanced right here. Some of the new features are quite interesting. So it's available in more countries, larger context window than ever before. You can upload documents, PDFs, that sort of thing. So what you can do is you can actually tag different parts of your Google Drive, right? So if you've linked this and you use Google Drive a lot, like I do, for example, Google Docs, YouTube, et cetera, you can actually, for example, tag YouTube in and then ask it certain information. So you can say, for example, like YouTube, create an SAP for topical maps, and then using YouTube, it should start looking at topical map creation and that sort of thing, which is quite interesting. One of the other things that I want to check actually is last time I checked this, it couldn't figure out who I was, which was quite interesting. I know you come up in this, right? So if we put yeah. who is Kazra Dash, it will come up with information about you and it's got links to your Udemy and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So it, it, everything's there, but you can also fact check it as well. How um, do you fact check? So if, if you scroll down yeah, and then press the Google logo. Right. That's quite Basically, cool, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it'll go and, and essentially um, find sites of, or yeah, basically sites um, where it states what you have and haven't done. The green basically means that it's fairly confident and the, ye or the yellow means that it's uncertain on, on stuff. So if there are, I, I've, I've got an example on my screen that um, I can show with, with yellow and stuff as well. But um, yeah, it, it fact checks for you, which is quite interesting. Now, one thing I will say is that it's not fact checking against any websites of, of credible authority, if that makes sense. What's interesting about that is, for example, it wants, it doesn't know who Julian Goldie is, which is quite interesting because obviously I publish across like 10 different channels. But if I say who wrote the book, Link Building Mastery, and we'll hit enter on that. Then it will say Julian Goldie wrote the book. Crazy. And that actually has links to my book on Amazon. What if you were to, what if you were to ask it who, tell me more about that offer? Okay. That's Crazy. But then if you, let's check some other influences. So we'll put like, who is Brian Dean? No information. Which is quite interesting, right? Because I would say Backlinko, probably one of the biggest SEO brands in SEO yeah. of all time. Very interesting. I'm surprised that it's struggling with certain stuff like that, but yeah. Do you, do you want me to share my screen and then I can show you? Yeah, let's do it. What, what I've been testing out on. So can you see, there we go. Yeah. Again, very similar to what Julian just searched. Who is Kazra Dash? It's got a couple of greens, a couple of yellows. For example, anything in yellow it is just uncertain. It doesn't know if it, it just basically says, basically what it is, it's only one website that's mentioned this if this was being said on variety of different websites it would be a little bit more certain and then it obviously just links off to my website for you to made the about page on search room and fat rank and stuff right but then i also done a very simple prompt to create me a topical map on seo um now obviously um you would want to make your, your topical maps a little bit more advanced than, than just this, but it's not come back with a terrible result. I'd probably say it's like a, a six or a seven, um, out of 10. 
So for example, it's come back and it's saying SEO. So you, you would do pages on crawling algorithms, ranking factors, keywords, content optimization, title tags, header tags, image optimization, internal linking, URL structure, mobile optimization, page speed. And then you've got your off page SEO silo, which would be like backlinks, social signals, brand mentions, local SEO, so on and so forth. Now, I don't think that's a terrible result given how easy of a prompt I've given it. Now, there are obviously different things that you can definitely be adding into each of these buckets, but I don't think it's that bad of a prompt that's come back with it. It'd be interesting to give GBT 4 all this prompt and see what it comes back with as well. Yeah. What we should do is compare side by side, like how, what the quality of the content is. I already did that with chat GPT 4 and 4.0 in my video earlier this week. And it's pretty crazy. The difference in speed, like chat GPT 4.0, just so much faster. So right. let's compare them side by side. We've got 4.0 over here. And then we have Gemini advanced over here and we'll create a prompt. I don't know, write an article about the best SEO expert in New York. This will be an interesting one because Gemini was always bad for writing articles, always. So it'll be interesting to see what it comes back with now. Let's try it then. So we'll use the same prompt. I'll give Gemini the jump first by a split second, and then we'll click on chat GPT 4.0 to see who can generate the fastest content. So it looks like 4.0 is a lot faster. Like you can see yeah. how quickly it's generating the content there. Yeah, it's, GPT 4.0 seems like it's got it in the bag. Because One thing I don't like about what 4.0's done, I believe it was 4.0. Can you just scroll down on, on 4.0? Yeah. I don't think that's used real names. Isn't Alex Turner the lead singer of the Arctic Monkeys? I don't know. But it, it was an interesting it was one, isn't it? Jane Doe, the content queen. This can't be, sure, right? Surely that's... Is there a Jane Doe in New York that's a... Let's have a look. Actually, the other thing is, Goo actually announced it on the main page here. Which is oh. pretty big for them. I don't usually see them do that. But yeah, if we put Jane Doe SEO... Surely nothing is going to pop up. Yeah, there's nothing there, is there? Yeah, it's, that's an interesting one. I wonder why they've done that. John Smith, the data-driven FCO guru. Why has it done that? It reminds me of, have you seen the, I think it's a Verge that did it. It was like best printer 2024. Verge trolling Google created this article right here that you can see has been ranking. It's been updated April the 2nd. Obviously, best printer 2024. It's like quite a competitive keyword. And you can see on the content, it says, after a full year of not thinking about printers, the best printer is still whatever random brother laser printer that's on sale. And it's just like such a troll. Yeah, that's, they're not wrong. That's what a lot of affiliate sites do. A lot of the ones that are just driving as much clicks as they possibly can. Here's and what Google Gemini no, had to say. Yeah. Isn't Thanks. that the whole idea of these apps? <laughs> are we just fooling ourselves? Not without going off on a tangent, but I think it's quite funny to see that still ranking. Yeah. But they've done gets, well. They've done well. And also, if you plug that in on Ahrefs, I think it gets a decent amount of traffic. Like it's ranking number one. It has been ranking number one for quite a while. Yeah, 14,000 traffic. Look at that. That's what it reminds me of this article. The, the thing is though, that article, like there's still some, like they're still answering the, the actual user's search. Now what chat GPT 4 O's done there is it's just made up for three people, three or four people. In the test, chat, uh, chat GPT actually loses, right? hundred percent. Just by not fact checking. Can you ask it to fact check it? Sure, surely. I'm still in shock. I can't believe That's, this has happened. Have we broke ChatGPT? Is ChatGPT just trolling us right now? And then I said, please fact check this and says something went wrong. If the issue persists, please contact us. This is such a bad advert. I think you could title this video, We Broke ChatGPT 4.0. Just by default.
Gemini wins. Yeah. I'm intrigued to figure out who, who's actually made the list on, on, on this. On the Gemini one? Yeah. See, I don't... Are these made up ones as well? Mimvi no. probably is real, but the New York SEO company? No, I think that's... These are real. I think that is a real company. Yeah, it is. So, look, yeah, it actually is. There you go. Gemini wins. So what, one thing, like, again, this also isn't a, a great example of an article because I, I believe you actually said who are the best SEOs, not the best SEO companies, right? So I said, write an article about the best SEO expert in New York. That was a prompt. Ah, okay. You could argue in saying that there, it was a little bit of a vague prompt, but to me, that sounds like one particular person, not, not, a, not a company, yeah. but I, I, I guess... I can understand the thought process as to why Bard or Gemini's came back with, with that result. Another thing that we've not touched on is with Gemini, you can book flights on it now. Can you? Yeah, it, it can do like a full itinerary for you. Wow. Like book everything. All right, let's book in Estonia SEO. I'm speaking there now. Are you going to Estonia SEO? Yes, I am. You're yeah, speaking there? Let's, yeah, let's do it. Let, let's, book, let's, book a, let's book a flight from... Bangkok. To Estonia. It can also book your hotels as well. That's pretty amazing. Now, is it going to link out to these websites? Yeah, you can find out more details. That's insane. Wow. That's actually really useful. Yeah. But then, okay, now, give it some dates, say, from, I don't know, the did you give it dates before? No, you've not. So maybe give it some dates and then also ask it to book your uh, hotels as well. So should we ask it if it knows what ah, the dates of the Estonia SEO conference are? That's quite a good one. All right. It's, so it's given us the dates there, which I think are actually right. By the way, shout out to SEO conference Estonia. Going to be a good one. And then we'll say, all right, book a flight from Bangkok to Estonia for these dates. Pretty good. Right? Yeah, it's done the job. I'm genuinely saying that Gemini is better. It's done some cool stuff. It's done some new interesting stuff. It's actually innovated. What do you think? You think John Smith is the best SEO expert in New York? I'm so shocked as to Me why GPT-4 came out with that. But I wonder if it's potentially to do with like privacy of, of people. But then surely that would mean that it, it doesn't recognize anyone. Like, even if you were to give it, I don't know, Vince McMahon from WWE, it, it, it won't know who he is, which will be an interesting test. I can just imagine, right, there's a bunch of VAs out there where someone's asked them, just create content with ChatGPT 4.0 now. It's free. You get access to it. I don't need to pay for your subscription. There's all these dodgy recommendations going out on the web without any fact checking. Oh, God. Do you know what? I'm waiting for the day to just see one of those lists when it's just, yeah, John Doe's the best New York offer or something like that. So yeah, that, that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping this does essentially show some limelight on why you shouldn't just blindly go into to any LLM and just give it a prompt and copy and paste it. But yeah, I think this has been quite a funny video. Yeah, definitely. That was a good one. And yeah, actually, if you want to get the manual SEO checklist for anyone watching, this basically helps you take something like an AI article and then manually, step by step, create it in the best way possible. Fact checking it for plagiarism, doing all the sort of common sense checks that you can give to your team. So feel free to get that in the free SEO course. And if you want a free SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. Links in the comments description. Thanks for being on, Kazarat. Thanks.